Very good afternoon to you. Happy New Year to you. Welcome to 2021. This is the third day in 2021. Are you all excited? I am excited for this 2021. How was your Christmas celebration? Was that good? Yeah, it's a little bit hard this year, you know, but we still celebrate. You guys get to celebrate at your home. I celebrate at my home. And how about this year in celebration? We don't get to, you know, we wish to have a crowd meet at church, meet at, in public places, but we can't. I miss that countdown time at church. We dancing, we praising the Lord and all that, but this year we can't do it. But we can make it happen anyway with all the small families and all that. I am excited about 2021. 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020. Do you all agree with me? 2020 is a tough year. It's a hard year. But you made it. Let's praise the Lord for that. You made it. You made it. You made it. We really, really feel bad for those who can't make it. Really, really sorry for that. But with all of us that made it, we continue to give praise and give glory to God. Do not stuck, my brothers and sisters, do not stuck. In 2020, for you, 2020, yeah, everyone complained it was a bad year. But do not stuck, get stuck over there. Do not allow your mind stuck in 2020. Carry on, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to lead us to the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. This is the letter of Apostle Paul to Philippi. Verse 12. Not that I have already obtained this, or I'm already perfect. Paul said, he's not obtained, he's not perfect. It's like one of us as well. But I press on to make it my own. He said he pressed on to make it his own, to make it his goal, to make it his purpose, his strategy. Because Christ Jesus have made me his own. Christ Jesus have made me, have made you that believe in him his own brothers. I do not consider that I have made it. He kept saying over and over, I have uh, not that I already obtained. I do not consider that I have made it. It's like every one of us. Every, every single day in our life, we want to accomplish great things. But sometimes, someday, it's worse than the other days. But don't forget, someday is better than the other days as well. He said, look, I don't get there yet. I don't accomplish according to what I want yet. Made it my own. But one thing, the one thing I do, he said, the one thing I, he does, forgetting what lies behind, forgetting 2020. All the bad things that cause emotion and everything like that, you keep it in your mind and you thank God that you made it to 2021. That lies behind. Straining toward. To what lies ahead. Focus on what lies ahead. I press on. You see. He said. Straining to what ahead. He press on. Toward the goal. For the prize. Of the upward. Call. Of God. In Christ. Jesus. There is a call from God for you to keep moving forward, to go from glory to glory. You know, there are some good things, there are some bad things in the past, but don't keep the bad thing. 
to attach to your decision for the future. But focus on the grace of God. There is lies ahead of us. There is the prize that God has for us. Another letter that Apostle Paul wrote to Ephesus. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 to 19. He said, I, 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 he said, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. He kept asking that the Lord, our God Jesus Christ, the glorious Father may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. So this year is 2021. We want to focus on God. We want to ask the Lord God to give us, to give you the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation so that you may know Him better. This year, my brothers and sisters, let's get to know God better than before. I pray that the eyes of your heart Oh, yes, your heart have eyes. The eyes of your heart. Your heart may enlighten in order that you may know the hope. Sometimes we don't get to know the hope. We see that the hope is too far away from us. But when the eyes of our heart get to see and receive the revelation from God, we get to know that, that there is a hope right, right at the corner, right in front of us, to which He has called you. See, God has called you to the hope that He has, the riches of His glorious inheritance, the riches of His glorious inheritance in His holy people. And His incomparably Great power for us who believe. That power is the same as the mighty strength. My brothers and sisters, 2020, you made it to 2020, 21. So let's focus on the future that ahead of us. Let's look at the journey. Life is a long journey. Let's look at the short journey, the journey that you take from one place to another place. Sometimes you can walk, sometimes you can drive a motorcycle, sometimes you can drive a car. If a journey is so long, you drive a car. When you drive a car, you need a car, which is your transportation. You need your money to take along, to buy gas for your car, to, to, to pay for your accommodation, to pay for your food, and all that. This is a long journey. How about the, the journey that takes longer? You go to another country. You have to, you know, get a lot of money to buy the airplane tickets. And you take, need a lot of money to spend on the hotel and the food and everything like that over there. How about the long journey of your life? A journey with lifetime. So what do you need to do? You get more money. You get more of these, these kind of stuff. If, it, if, you, if you could get it, it's good. But the one thing that's the most important of all, we need to get the Word of God. To live this life, the Word of God from the Bible. To live this life so that we can continue to go on. Because this Word of God is like, the Bible is the Word of God, is like the fuels for our lives. To help our life moving forward without getting too discouraged. On the thing of this world. But we can have hope when we have this word of God. So what should we do in 2021? I think 
in 2021. I have a couple of points, but as you go on, you learn some more. So in the beginning of the year, you pray for the vision and all that from the Lord, and you plan ahead and you prepare, ask the Lord to prepare your way. Point number one, to do that, you look up to God. In uh, <clears throat> um, Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, then I turned, Zechariah turned, and he raised, uh, he said, I uh, raised my eyes and saw there's a flying scrolls. And he said to me, what do you see? The Lord said to Zechariah, what did you see? So I answer, I see a flying scroll. It lengths is 20 cubits and it's width 10 cubits. A flying scroll. It's a flying scroll with the word of God. The word of God for him to see, for him to read. This one time, in the real life of the ancient man by the name of Abraham. Abraham had a lot of stuff in his life. Abraham had followed the Lord closely. But this one time, Abraham was so discouraged. Because Abraham didn't get to see the future ahead of him that he will have the children. He complained to God. He said, Lord, do not give me anything else. No need. Because it's useless if I ha have no children. But the Lord brought Abraham outside. And in the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 5. Then he brought him, brought Abraham, the Lord brought Abraham outside and said, Look now toward heaven and count the star. If you are able to number them. And he said to him. The Lord said to Abraham. So shall your descendants be. Abraham. For now. Right now. You cannot see it. My brothers and sisters. Right now. You cannot see the great future. That the Lord God have for you yet. But look up to him. Look up to God, because God is the creator of all things. Look up to God. Believe in God, because God can show you the great future that you and I cannot see yet. So point number one, to get ready to continue this journey, we need to look up to God. Have God. Come into our lives and show us the future that we are going to go toward, toward that. Point number two, eat the word of God. Point number one, to obtain this 2021 well, look to God. Point number two, eat the word of God. Ezekiel chapter three was one to three of to four. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, eat what you find. Because the Lord show him the word of God. Eat what you find. Eat this scroll and go. Speak to the house of Israel. Eat this word that you find. The Lord God have given him this word. And you eat it. You receive this word. You eat it. You Meaning that get in to your soul. Ezekiel, get into your soul. Keep it in your soul. When you eat it and get in your soul and you take it to the house of Israel. This is what we do at New Life Fellowship. We continue to teach the word of God to the people that come to New Life Fellowship. When they receive the teaching from the Bible, they cannot keep it just in there. They need to share this word with the people around them. You eat the word of God and you share with the house of Israel. 
So I opened my mouth, Ezekiel said, and he caused me to eat that scroll. And he said to me, son of man, feed your belly. Son of man, make sure that that stomach is really full. Feed your belly and fill your stomach with the scroll that I gave you. Fill your stomach, fill your soul with the word of God. Fill it with the word of God. So Ezekiel said, so I ate and it was in my mouth like honey in sweetness. Then he said to me, son of man, go to the house of Israel and speak with my words to them. My brothers and sisters, you eat the word of God this year. Eat the word of God that you learn. You have the Bible and book. You have the Bible and um, um, phones and tablet. Read it and eat it. Receive it and you proclaim it toward your future. He kept saying, go to the house of Israel. Go to the house of Israel. I mean, eat it, then you share Receive the word, then you share. My brothers and sisters, you receive the word of God, then you share with other people. Point number three, after you eat it and you make it overflow. Eat until your spirit is overflowing. Eat and eat and eat and eat. Eat, keep eating until your very old age, until you say goodbye to earth. Keep eating it. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Do not get drunk on wine, which lead to uh, the debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Do not get drunk with this wine. It's not useful for you. It brings destruction to you. But feel with the Spirit of God. My brothers and sisters, after you keep eating and keep eating and keep eating one day, you will have the confidence in your spirit. You will get stronger in your spirit. And then you are ready to fight any dark day that the devil trying to hinder you. Last scripture in 1 John Chapter 4, verse 4. You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one that who is in the world. So when you keep eating, receiving, you're looking to God and then you will feel with the confidence in God. And you feel the confidence that the God that living in you is greater than than a God of this world, a God of this age, then you can fight any time that the devil, that the demon try to cast fear, try to cast trouble in your life. My brother and sisters, 2021 is going to be a great year. Let your spiritual eyes, the eyes of your heart, open up and receive the spirit of the living God. When you keep receiving more and more and you're sharing, I believe that you will experience and you have testimonies to share with the world around you. Can I pray for you? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you so much for 2021. Lord God, I declare that 2021 is going to be a wonderful year, better than 2020. Lord God, I ask that you will put the head to protection over my brothers and sisters. Lord God, speak destination. Lord God, for these brothers and sisters, Lord God, speak hope to them. Speak life to them, Lord God, so that these people will continue to speak 
hope and life for themselves as well, Lord God. Lord God, I believe, Lord God, that your name will be glorified for 2021 as well, Lord God. And Lord God, we can't wait to see all the signs and wonders that you are about to perform this year in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.